Hello and welcome back to my channel. So this is a part two of my eyeshadow collection and we're going to be dealing with these palettes right here. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first off we have this Fenty Beauty uh, Kilowatt Foil Palette. This is technically all highlighters, but I'm not putting this as a highlighter on my face. And like these two are like more satiny than like beaming so this is an eyeshadow palette for me um i've wanted this since it came out and i finally got it when they were gonna discontinue it so lucky me okay so next is this mini pat mcgrath palette these are the shade names and these are the shades i bought the other one too but i gave that one to my cousin this is my favorite shade you can see like the massive dip in it and destruction um, but I literally love this palette and I think that these are discontinued so once I run out of this I just run out but yeah this is an amazing palette okay so I'm gonna put these two together even though they have like no relation to each other so this is the Urban Decay um, Naked Cherry palette it says it on the brush and this is the Primark Berry Palette. So when I was going through my collection last year, I saw that these were like basically identical. Although in this one, you get 12 shades and a brush. In this one, you get 10 shades. And most of these are shimmers, barely any mattes, unlike this one. Um, but yeah, these are basically identical. So if you can find this, like if this is still being made in your Primark and you want this palette, I would say get this because it's only $7.00. Or at least that's what I paid versus this being like 49 even though I got this as a gift and even if I paid for it it was half off at the time but still this is not that good if you still want this color scheme get this so this is my very demolished uh, ABH subculture palette this is the only Anastasia palette that I have and I got it all because of this shade Adorn you can see the type of shades that I like. Um, there's a huge dip in it. I used to use this all the time when I had shows and it used to just be fudge all over and then adorn as the sparkle. Um, but yeah, this is just an amazing palette even though everyone said that it sucked when it came out. I was so upset when I watched reviews just to see how to like use this palette and people were saying that it sucked but it's getting the love that it like deserved right now and you know kind of serves them right for being rude about it because now it's discontinued and people have FOMO sucks to suck okay so this one is the soap times revolution palette and I literally love this it has some of the original shades from her original palette but then added more of this like rainbow vibe and this was like I think $18 I don't remember but Mirror Ball is amazing, and I really like Extra Spice. Mm -hmm. um, it, this is better than like other Revolution palettes that I have. Like most of the collaborations are, I really like the collaboration ones. Okay, ignore the person with a shopping cart in the middle of the freaking morning, but yeah, this is amazing, and I was so lucky that I was like there when this launched because I missed out on the last two and I really wanted it but yeah this is super spice okay this next one is from a very indie brand it's called No Stip Beauty and it's their Swatch Me volume 1 palette they're all cream to powders these two are highlights on the ends and these are all mattes in the middle and it looks like a VHS tape, which really sold me. Um, they did a live on Super Great, and it was a live sale where you got free shipping. So that's how I got it. That's how I know about it. But this is really good. I should do a video with this. So this is the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2. It has the trichrome shade. I made a decent dent in it. I really love this iridescent shade. And this is another one of those whites with the pink shift which I love 
There are only two mattes in here, and I can use both of these as blushes, especially this one's literally called, like, Naked Blush. Um, but this is a very beautiful palette. It was a gift to myself for Christmas, and I'm glad that I bought it, even though, you know, the box came broken, and that's kind of a, you know, part of the price, but, um, I didn't want to return it, because then I would have to wait even longer to have it. So, yeah. A little broken box, but perfect palette. And now on to the mother load that is ColourPop. So to start off, we're going to have to actually look at this new little Tarte palette that I got. Um, and these two shades belong in this palette. This is the Make It Fearless palette with uh, ColourPop Me Black, you know, Neon and New Way. And um, Killer King did that campaign and I took out those two because I really want to use them this yellow is absolute trash I don't know how the heck they let that go through but everything else is beautiful um, and I have other pieces of this collection I have one of the lipsticks and the two super shocks that they came out with but um yeah this is beautiful and since we're on this tart thing these are all from the Kathleen Light So Jaded palette, and I can show you what the palette looks like. It's right here, but that's where these are from. So this is what the palette looks like. You know, obviously it's missing the shades that I already showed you. And this is a Super Shock. These two are glitters, and the rest are just like mattes and shimmers. Um, I actually did use this glitter. I used it for my Euphoria look for Halloween, but yeah. Besides that, this is a beautiful palette. I love all the tones, and this was one of my first ColourPop palettes. Um, I got this, and I also got the Dream Big set, which included this. So I got all six of these and the So Jaded at the exact same time. I wanted to build up my collection, and I thought this was the best way to do it, especially since I wanted like most of these palettes. And now I'm going to show you what they look like. So this is what they all look like. My favorites are the Blue Moon, Just My Luck, and It's My Pleasure. This was the one that I got the most use out of when I first got it. This one and Just My Luck, which Just My Luck I really didn't get much use out of. Just really that olive shade right there. And then I also used it for um, my Halloween costume. But these two I barely touched. Like I just watched them recently and I got these last year. And this one, I love these three shades, but none of these show up, and this is a glitter. So, it's not that I don't love it, it's that it doesn't love me. Um, so yeah, and obviously I'm not going to reach in here for just gold, and this one's kind of crumbly if you don't really take it slow. Even though it's a very pretty, like, blue to um, yellow shift. And of course you can't see it. Anyways, yeah, I've made a significant dip in this blue right here because I love it so much and these two like duochromes Earthshine and Mr. Sandman are perfect this is a very good like pastel purple kittenfish and I really like don't need like lilac you a lot since I have this and same with the meant to be I wanted that always but after having that one shade I, I really don't need it I don't need like all light colors um but yeah these are the first ones that I ever got. To finish off the plastic palettes, we're gonna, oh my god, stick my finger into a shadow. Um, I'm gonna be looking at the Going Coconuts palette. Ever since I know of its existence, I wanted it. And I got it. As soon as it went to Ulta, put it in the bag, went to pick it up. It's very pretty, especially Coco Crush. Um, very nice, cool tones. And speaking of cool tones, I got that's taupe, primarily because I wanted a gray, and this is a gray. Um, I was going to get that uh, stoned fox palette, but that's way too much just to get one gray. And this one works perfectly, so it's a good thing that I decided to get this. And I really love all of the shimmers in here, like the top mattes, you know. They're a little bit too light. These are a lot more pinky than um, brown. 
but everything else like there's a super shock in here which is always the best and three shimmers deep matte and the gray that I wanted plus pretty packaging this is like super new to me but one of my favorites next we have blush crush so I got this because I wanted some pinks but this was the only like pink that they had in Ulta I'm gonna go and get the nude mood if they still have that because it's more of a warm toned um, that's taupe or going coconuts but look at that like you see that shift from pink to like orangey yellow like there's three of the stupid like mattes with glitters but they work fine I really like this shade and I actually do like this shade even though it's a matte with glitter and this one includes a super shock too which I really love so even though it's like very light if you're going for light and pink this is a great palette speaking of Ulta exclusive um, the high tide palette I've been looking into the fine feathered ever since I got this um, but this was the one that I knew I wanted for sure look at that dip in lunar I only really made that dip because I had a challenge to do but still a significant dip in a brand new palette Ugh, look at me using my actual makeup but this is like a like such a unique color story and this is a duochrome right here like there's only one matte with glitter and it shakes out so this is like a perfect palette and if you have an Ulta near you I would advise you to get it like you can't even dupe this with other color pop shadows like all of these seem original besides this one urchin this one can be duped um with the so jaded i saw that in a video and had to try it and it, it can but all these other ones unique and beautiful the last nine pan save the best for last is the star wars mandalorian palette it's very dirty so excuse that but there's a super shock in here that shifts from like white to gold there's this very light like almost pastel but still grungy green there's this grungy poopy green like this is like a Taurus's perfect palette um I literally got this on launch day because I knew I had to have it even if I didn't watch the Mandalorian yet um when I got it but this is just this is beautiful I love it so this is my most recent palette I just got this like a couple of days ago in an Ulta order and I just I needed to get this green <laughs> like that that is literally the only reason why I wanted this palette look also this purple and from swatching now I love outfit remember I thought I would really love outfit repeater but this is one of those with um glitter in it so you know you gotta see how it works on the eyes but from swatching it it's pretty but I don't I don't like the glitters and there's actually a glitter in here too but um this is a beautiful palette the packaging is everything and you know I actually prefer Colourpop coming out with all of these weird color story palettes than like the monochrome ones because look at all of these shadows that I'm getting that I can just like depot because they're all magnetic or just you know cut this insert out and turn it into a magnetic palette like I just love when they do this so yeah I love the packaging like look at Lizzie okay close and the tie-dye is just amazing next we have the garden variety so I literally got this oh yeah I turned this into a Z palette this that's one of the things that you can do with these cardboard ones but um I literally got this for this super shock right here and I made a decent dent but you know it's a super shock so I don't know if it's from usage or from it just being putty but I separated the mattes with glitters the shimmers super shock and the mattes and these mattes are beautiful there's only five but they work and they're very versatile like I didn't have a purple like this before getting this palette and it's a matte so I can do a lot more with it than if it was a shimmer 
and I didn't have a white before getting this palette. I honestly didn't even know that this was like a matte white, but it is. And like, look at the dip that I have in it. Like anytime that I need a white, it's this one. This brown is beautiful. This brown is beautiful. And so much deeper than the one in Golden Coconuts. So this is like a perfect palette and nobody talks about it. But the packaging is everything, which is another reason why I wanted it. Um, and the colors are everything too. Also, this is like one of the skinnier palettes. Like this is the skinniest one that I have besides like the um, So Jaded. And So Jaded is big. But like since I turned this into a Z palette, this is like one of the most perfect palettes. Skinny empty if you need it to be like if this is still available i would say get it and last but not least is the limoncello palette so i got this for my birthday from a family friend love her for that and this is one of their like heavy duty palettes like these feel so nice and this is one of the better cardboard ones people say that the powerpuff girls one is the same as this but like it comes with a weighted mirror like the Nabla ones well not Nabla ones but like like Nabla palettes and I really really wanted this because of all of the neutrals with the yellow and blue this blue is like not even a blue that I have and I have the blue moon um and this yellow is like really the only yellow that actually shows up on my skin as of right now and obviously look at the dip that I've made in it and the shimmers are so pretty, but I haven't really used them that much. I really only <laughs> use it for this bottom row and this yellow right here. And that's all I really like. Um, but these pans are bigger than the regular ones, so they're easy to use as blush, which is what I do this one with. And they're nice and thin, too, if you want to put them in a magnetic palette that's shallow. So I really like this, and I'm so glad that I got it. So you've come to the end of the video, and you've now have seen all of the palettes that I own in a bag of Chico Sticks, um, because this is what I wanted to show you. So thank you so much for watching. Um, like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you want more, because you know, I'm making a collection of everything I own. There will be a playlist down below if you want to see the previous ones. Um, part one will be linked down below if you want to see the previous one of this and see what I have to say about the other palettes in my collection that aren't really ColourPop. Um, and I will see you in another video. Bye.